I almost ditched Ubuntu for Fedora, almost. Before we get into it, a word from our sponsor, which is Nobody. And I actually do this in my free time. And if I'm able to do this in my free time, it's only because I don't have a part-time job. And if I don't have that, it's because people donate to the channel. So if you want to make my videos go and allow me to go on um, working for KDE, please consider making a donation. And that was actually it, let's get to the video. So what happened with Ubuntu? Some terrible stuff. So as a good YouTuber, I was preparing to do videos, beautiful content. I wanted to showcase in this channel a couple of things. Only kept Capilon, I think it's called OS, but also a material theme that actually got the colors from the background in KDE and set the accent color and the color of the windows to the color in the background, which is like incredibly cool. What's the issue? So I did Capilon first, I installed it through a dev file, and then I went on with material file and it had a script to be downloaded. Let me show you. It's this one, it has a GitHub and I quickly, we can see it here. I quickly saw that it had this install Ubuntu base, which I thought, okay, that's what I want. I glanced through it and I saw it was reasonable. The only weird thing, not weird, but the only issue is this command here. apt install Python 3, Python 3 Dibus, Python 3 NumPy. I thought, okay, that's fine. That's I already have those packages actually. But when I run this on this command, apt said, okay, in order to install those three packages, you need to, and then it listed hundreds of packages. It says these hundred of packages are to be out removed. These hundred of packages are to be installed. These hundreds of packages are to be removed. And I was like, that's weird. But you know, I was in university, I was following class and I didn't pay attention and so, you know, apt, whatever. And that was a mistake. Never ever just say apt, whatever. Never press Y if you don't know what's happening because everything went badly. As you can guess easily, the hundreds of packages to be removed were actually pretty important. And uh, it was basically any package that I had, that I had installed on my computer. Luckily, uh, apt didn't manage to uninstall them all for real. It installed, uninstalled a bunch of them and then it tried to uninstall Dell drivers for the computer and it gave an um, error on those so because they can't be uninstalled. So I saw the error and I thought, okay, that's bad. Something went pretty bad. Thankfully, I mean, I tried to run the command manually and I saw a lot of depend dependency issues. I thought, okay, let's just run a quick, uh, um, whatever, like apt fix uh, install or even install um, dash f. There's a lot of ways to fix those kind of things. When I tried to do fix install, I received another <laughs> apt wall of text with hundreds of packages to be completely removed from the system. And I quickly gave a look and it was like, Gnome Shell, X server, X11. I was like, no, 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 nope, nope, no, don't, don't do that. And I tried some solutions, but uh, half of apt commands were actually not working because Python 3 apt library was already removed from the system. So half of, apt stuff actually relies on Python 3, Python 3 apt library and everything was broken. And this is when I opened up Twitter, I went to my account and I panicked. So this is the error that I had when I tried to install anything. And you can see that it's like hundreds of packages. I only showed uh, some of them, which is like, it is not going to be installed, sadly. Okay. What's apt fixing? This is the output of uh, apt fix. And you can see that the following packages will be removed. And let me zoom in on them. We've got here stuff like xat, xorg, xr desktop, x server, xorg, YouTube DL, and then Python 3 PyQt or I don't know, Orca or even a lot of libraries of uh, KDE. I'm just like, no. No, so I tried to fix it and I spent some hours on this and I just couldn't, I just couldn't. Now, 
I was incredibly impressed by just how many people actually came out and helped me. Uh, I'm not used to people just trying to help me like this. And um, many replies, many suggestions I gave, uh, none of them quite worked. Uh, and eventually a lot of people just said, switch to Arc, which I was not going to do. I'm not going to switch to Arc, sorry. But a lot of people also say, try out Fedora. And I was like, okay, let's try out Fedora then. If, you, if Ubuntu is broken, it's broken. So what I did is I popped up a USB, this one, and I installed Fedora. Because I mean, what do you want to do? Ubuntu is broken, I need Ubuntu to work. So in Fedora, I installed a LaTeX uh, editor, OBS, and I started taking notes. And by the way, it was pretty good. I really liked Fedora, the experience, the GNOME 42 was, I tried it and it was really awesome. So I, I was happy, but I, I wasn't too happy because, you know, all of my configs were still on Ubuntu. So I thought about just switching to Fedora completely. At, at this point I had dual booted, mind you, not actually removed Ubuntu yet. And, uh, but I thought, okay, all of my stuff is on Ubuntu. I'm not able to uh, switch the entire my entire home uh, uh, folder over because uh, too much file, too many files in it. And actually transferring the configs is going to take weeks. And this is not something that I wanted to do. So I thought, okay, no, let's give it one last shot to fix Ubuntu. So I came back, I read emails, and I actually received a nice suggestion that was read the apt log and see if you forgot about something you did. So I read the log and uh, initially I thought that I didn't do anything weird because I mean, I just tried to install Python 3. I mean, the script tried to install Python 3 and how is installing Python 3 a bad thing? And uh, that's when reading the backlog, I realized I had forgotten about Capilon OS. So what's Capilon OS? Which, by the way, I'm not going to showcase anymore in this channel, sorry. That's it. It uh, destroyed my computer. So I, I saw this, I thought, okay, seems an interesting project. I want to try this. We've got desktop builds and we've got images of um, this Capilon OS running inside of a window. So I thought they had actually packaged uh, Capilon OS um, to be able to be run similarly to other desktops inside of, um, you know, as if it was an application, just to test it and try it out. So uh, there was this, you can download the latest Debian package here, so I went here, and I just installed the first link, which was a bad idea. I mean, Debian AMD 64 package, I mean, that's not how you should do things. So what this package did is terrible things. Unlikely that's uh, the best I can describe them as because I am in no way an expert on how APT works. I just know that everything broke after this dab. So I thought, okay, okay. If it's Capillon's fault, then I just can uninstall it, right? So I run a dpkg purge Capillon, it worked. And I run fix missing and finally, all of the, I'm going to remove your entire system messages disappeared and I actually got some sane ones saying, you're missing like half of the packages. How is that happening? Let me download them again. So I run apt fix missing, saying to myself, finally it's over. And in that moment, my computer died. Like it all went black from one moment to another. Why? Because what I didn't know is that yesterday, or maybe even the day before that, was the day that the new Ubuntu beta released. And I actually had already enabled uh, impish uh, repositories. So when I run fix missing, some things were updated from the new Ubuntu beta, some things were not. And uh, it also decided to remove everything just you know, it installed a lot of things, but just for sure it removed a lot of other things, probably including Gex server and Gnome shell. So it wasn't even booting up anymore. So of course I grabbed the USB stick. I went through 
a live use uh, installation and then I crooted CH rooted into the system as one would do, I mean. And then I just run an sudo apt dist upgrade command. It took a bit. Finally, at the end, I rebooted and I was greeted by uh, my operating system, actually working Ubuntu, but the wrong wallpaper. And let me actually show you this because it's such a weird outcome, but it's the only bad thing that happened out of this whole situation. I mean, I, I still miss a couple of packages, but I mean, whatever. Right now I'm on the light theme. If I switch to the dark theme, the wallpaper changes, but what? Why would I want this wallpaper on light and the default one on dark? I mean, I understand the idea of dynamic wallpapers, but those are usually served by the desktop or by the distro. They're not user customizable, so I cannot create my own dynamic wallpaper just by changing the wallpaper. And uh, w w what? By the way, this wallpaper is super cool. I, I think it's the first Ubuntu wallpaper that I truly like. And uh, another thing I was greeted by, since you know I upgraded de facto to the latest Ubuntu uh, beta, is now I'm onto GNOME 42 by default. This is GNOME 42, which is why you've seen the light and dark friends. I mean, technically speaking, it is a feature that you can uh, apply separate wallpapers to the dark and light theme. But the fact is that I had this wallpaper while using the dark theme. So th that was the weird thing. So what am I going to do now is remove Fedora complete. I am sorry, Fedora. I truly think that it's an interesting project that one day I will try out enjoying it. But right now, everything I own is in this Ubuntu system. And you know, it's really, really hard to make the switch uh, from one day to another when I have so much homework and so much videos to do. I hope that you will understand me.